Is it me? <clears throat> or is this basically a kid's episode? Now, I don't mean that as an insult. Not really. Even though if this was something I was taking seriously, I would consider this bad because it's a kid's episode. In other words, things happen that don't really make sense or shouldn't happen because it's a kid's episode. Which, for reference, is something I've never agreed with when it comes to kids' television, for the, for the record. But anyways, point being... I mean, seriously, R2 and 3PO go off and save the day while the clones stay behind rolling their eyes. Replace R2 and 3PO with kids, or teenagers, and the clones with the adults, and you can see how the formula fits almost one-to-one. -one. Despite that, I found myself just kind of being like, okay, for this episode. But when I say, okay, I don't mean it's good. In fact, I still don't like this episode. But... Most of the reasons I don't like this episode is it's like, okay, did nobody know about this second layer of society down there? Did nobody understand, like, like the, the ones up top very clearly are saying, you know, we need to seal this hole. And yet apparently they never could say the phrase, we need to seal this hole. Or there's a priceless treasure that's causing gas leaks that we need to seal. I mean, there's so many different ways to communicate this. They're presented as if they're primitives and yet have computers and obviously a galactic presence, because we've seen these aliens before. This, right? I mean, there's so many issues with the construction of this narrative that it just makes me go, why? <laughs> and then, of course, 3 P and R2, who have more or less literally saved the day, are treated as if, oh, I can't be wait to be rid of those guys because they're so annoying. How dare they talk about things they've just done? Or try to... <laughs> I'm sorry, but this episode does kind of irritate me the more I think about it, and that's the problem. Any episode where the more I think about it, it goes down, in my opinion, is generally something I would consider to be a bad episode. It's also one of those weird filler episodes, because it has nothing to do with anything. And it just kind of, it's a one-off, this will never matter again. And it feels like they were just like, alright, we need story ideas. And granted, that's a, a reality of any TV show, and I'm not going to hold that against it. But there are other ways they could have made this work. In fact, I can think of one right off the top of my head. Remove 3PO from the equation. I know that sounds strange since he's the central character, but he's also a translator droid. Because if you remove the translation, now you have a bunch of clones who have been emergency rerouted to this place. They didn't have time to pick up proper uh, you know, communications or equipment or a translator or whatever. So <clears throat> they literally have to go from here with and just offload their military supplies. Basically... It, the way the episode presents it is as if a ship was going to, re to to go help in this military endeavor, but instead picked up 3PO and R2, for some reason, and a bunch of supplies and equipment in order to send to a relief effort. Why not make it instead that they were en route to the military endeavor, got rerouted here, so the only supplies and equipment they have is what they had, their actual military supplies. So they're taking it in the pants. It would also help to explain why these clones are upset about this whole thing. Because they know they're going to have shortened rations and, and less medical equipment and less general ability to function as a military unit in addition to discomfort over the next however long until they resupply because they're giving it to these random aliens. And, without a translator on board, they couldn't literally understand what's going on with the frickin' seal and what's going on with the lower planet down below. R2 being on board, that's a bit of a twist, but we could probably make it so R2 is on board and it, it just, you know, basically goes through all the motions of the story as is, just remove 3PO from the equation and bam. Then have a thing, if you really want to have the, the joke ending, have R2 contacting 3PO and 3PO's like, oh, you have such an imagination. Something like that, right? I'm just saying, this could have been constructed a little better and instead it's a kids TV show. I did find myself thinking about a concept. I'm just going to share this really quickly here. Something I've noticed a lot in fiction in general, but especially science fiction, is some people say, wouldn't it be weird or alien if such and such? And they never actually bothered to think about how that would actually work. Gene Roddenberry was really bad about this, to be completely honest. But he's not alone. I, mean, I don't want to be singling him out. A lot of, a lot of writers do this. I've done this. You know, I'll, th I'll fling shade at myself if I have to. But I bring this up because... I found myself thinking during this episode, well, that's a cool concept. Why does it work that way? Like three or four times throughout the episode. And I like that idea. I just want to go further than just, here's something weird and alien. Okay, well, why is it weird and alien? 
anyways, that's, that's all I wanted to say about that really briefly. I'm going to go ahead and chop this off.